All right. Welcome, everyone. We're diving deep into the world of selling ebooks online today. Ooh, exciting. So, you know, you've finished that awesome ebook. You've poured your heart and soul into it. Yeah, exactly. Blood, sweat, and tears, probably. Totally. Now we got to make sure those eager readers can, you know, actually get their hands on it. Absolutely. And we've got a ton of great sources to help us with this. We do. YouTubers giving us the inside scoop, experienced ebook sellers sharing their wisdom, even a little bit of AI magic sprinkled in. Yeah. I got to admit, I was surprised by some of the stuff we found. Like what? Well, like, did you know some people are actually making bank selling ebooks full of, get this, blank pages? Whoa, really? Yeah, we'll get to that later. Okay, I got to hear more about that. But first, let's tackle the basics. Like, how do you even choose where to start selling your ebook? There are so many platforms out there. So many options, but right? It's overwhelming. It can be. Yeah. But that's why we're here to break it down. Okay, so break it down for me. Well, the key is understanding what each platform is best at, like their strengths. Gotcha. For example, Gumroad's super user friendly. Okay. Like if you're just starting out and want to get your ebook out there fast, Gumroad is fantastic. So Gumroad is like the easy button for selling your ebook. You got it. I like easy button. Everyone does. Now, if you're looking for the biggest audience possible, Amazon is the way to go. Makes sense. Amazon is huge. Exactly. It's the 800 pound gorilla, but it can be a bit more complicated to navigate. Ah, so there's a trade off there. There is. Okay. What about for someone who's maybe a bit budget conscious? Like yeah. they're just starting out, don't want to break the bank. I gotcha. Yeah. Stan could be a great option. Stan. Yeah. S T A M. Okay. Low cost, no transaction fees, gives you total control over your pricing and profits. Well, that sounds pretty good. It is. Like, say you've written a simple guide on, I don't know, home organization. Yeah. Stands perfect for that, gets your ebook in front of readers without any fuss. Okay, I'm starting to get the picture. I think those specific examples really help. Yeah. yeah it's like knowing the personality of each platform makes it easier to pick the right one. Exactly. Think about what you're comfortable with in terms of technology and how big of an audience you want to reach. Right, right. Those are your guiding stars when you're making that platform choice. Awesome. Good advice. Thank you. Okay, so we've picked our platform. Now we got to make sure the ebook itself is actually, well, good, right? <laughs> Something people will want to buy. Absolutely. No matter where you're selling, your ebook needs to stand out. And it starts with the title. Okay, the title. It needs to be clear, concise, tells people exactly what they're going to get. Okay, so no being all mysterious and artsy with the title. Ha ha, maybe save that for the novel you're working on. Right. But for an ebook, clarity is key. Gotcha. Think five simple steps to declutter your home. Straight to the point. Exactly. Then, obviously, the content itself needs to deliver on that promise. You know, be engaging. And here's a cool tip. If you're feeling stuck or need some help brainstorming, AI tools like ChatGPT can be your new best friend. Wait, ChatGPT can help me write my ebook? Well, not write it for you, but it can definitely help with those initial steps. Brainstorming, outlining, you know, getting those creative juices flowing. Okay, so AI is my brainstorming buddy. Got it. Exactly. But even with great content, you still need a cover that pops, right? You absolutely do. The cover is like a mini billboard for your ebook. Love that, a mini billboard. Think about what visually represents your topic and who you're trying to reach. Gotcha. And there are awesome tools out there like Canva that make designing a professional looking cover a breeze. Cool. Okay, so whether it's minimalist, colorful, whatever, it's got to reflect the ebook's vibe. Exactly. You want it to grab attention and make people curious. Now, this is where I always get tripped up marketing. Ah, yes, the marketing beast. We've got the ebook, we've got the platform, but how do we actually get people to buy it? Well, it all starts with social media. Okay, social media, everyone's favorite. Right. Share valuable content related to your ebook's topic. Go live, do Q&A sessions, run contests, you know, get people excited. Build that buzz, get the word out. Exactly. But remember, it's not just about shouting into the void. It's not. Nope. You want to build genuine connections with potential readers. Okay, how do we do that? That's where an email list comes in. Email list, still relevant. Totally. Offer something valuable in exchange for their email, do a bonus chapter, a checklist, something related to your ebook. So they get a taste and then they want more. Exactly. And this ties into a fantastic resource I got to mention. Okay, hit me. It's a free guide called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 
10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, all right? And you can find it at BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. BrianGarvin.com. Got it. What's so great about this guide? Oh, it's packed with over 12,300 words of pure gold. Yo. All about affiliate marketing, which is basically having other people help sell your ebook for you. And they get a commission. Exactly. The guide will show you how to set everything up, grow your email list, use it effectively. It's a game changer. So we're learning about email lists, and now we're learning about affiliates. Yeah. See how it all connects. I do, I do. So this Brian Garvin guy, he's like the ebook marketing guru. He knows his stuff, that's for sure. All right, BrianGarvin.com. Check it out, folks. You can even find the link in his YouTube bio. Super easy to find. Awesome. But hold on. You were saying something about email lists. Right. The key with email marketing is building relationships. Okay. Relate. No, don't just blast sales pitches. Offer valuable content consistently. So it's like dating. You got to woo them before you propose. <laughs> That's a great analogy. I try. Building that trust is essential. Right, right. Makes sense. And on that note, I think we've covered a lot of ground for this part of the dive. Yeah, we have. But don't worry, everyone. We'll be back to unearth even more ebook selling secrets in part two. Oh, we've got plenty more to share, so stay tuned. All right. Welcome back to the deep dive, everyone. Last time... We covered a lot of ground, like choosing the right platform for your ebook. Yeah, Gumroad, Amazon, Stan, all those good ones. And we talked about making your ebook irresistible. You know, that catchy title, the engaging content, that eye catching cover. Totally. Got to stand out in that virtual bookshelf. Exactly. Now, I want to dive into a strategy that can really boost your reach, and it's all about leveraging other people's audiences. Okay, intriguing. Tell me more. It's called affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, I've heard that term, but I'm not sure I fully grasp it. I got you. So basically, imagine you've got this amazing ebook on, let's say, healthy meal prepping. Okay, meal prepping. I like it. You partner up with food bloggers, fitness influencers, other folks in that niche. Okay. They recommend your ebook to their audience. And when someone buys it through their special link, they get a cut, a commission. Oh, so it's like they're your ebook's cheerleaders spreading the word. Exactly. Yeah. And they get rewarded for their efforts. Makes sense. But how do you even find these awesome affiliates in the first place? Well, you got to think about who aligns with your ebooks topic and who have an audience that would be interested. Right. The right people, the right audience. Reach out to authors, bloggers, influencers you admire. See if they'd be up for a partnership. Collaboration is key. Absolutely. And this kind of ties into building your author platform, which is something our sources emphasize a lot. Okay. Author platform. What exactly does that mean? It's all about establishing yourself as the go-to expert in your niche. Oh, okay. I like that. Building a brand around your expertise, if you will. Gotcha. So being active on social media, engaging with readers, maybe speaking at events, starting a blog or a podcast. So it's not just about writing the ebook. It's about building a community around your work. You got it. The more you connect with your audience, build that trust, the more likely they are to buy from you. Makes total sense. Yeah. No, I got to ask about pricing. Pricing, everyone's favorite topic. Uh -huh, right. How do we figure out how much to charge for our precious ebook? Well, it's a balancing act. No, you want to make sure you're compensated for your time and effort. Right. Got to value ourselves. But you also want to make it accessible to your target audience. It's finding that sweet spot, isn't it? Exactly. Look at what other ebooks in your niece are selling for. Consider the value you're providing. So a short, simple ebook might go for less than a super comprehensive guide, right? Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Okay, that makes sense. And don't be afraid to experiment with pricing. You can always adjust later based on feedback and sales data. Oh, and what about bundles and discounts? Those can be great incentives. All right, I want to shift gears a bit and talk about some common mistakes authors make. Ooh, okay. Let's avoid those pitfalls. One of the biggest ones is neglecting editing and proofreading. You're kidding. Nope. A polished, error-free ebook is crucial for your credibility. Yeah. Typos make me question everything, honestly. Me too. Another mistake is not clearly defining their target audience. Uh, trying to please everyone and ending up pleasing no one. Exactly. Niche down. Become the expert for that specific group of readers. Right. Focus, focus, focus. And lastly, many authors underestimate the power of marketing. Oh, yeah. That build it and they will come mentality. It rarely works that way in the real world, especially with ebooks. We need to get the word out right. Absolutely. And that brings us back to that amazing resource we mentioned earlier, the one that can help with all this marketing stuff. You mean Brian Garvin's 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate? That's the one. 
Over 12,300 words of pure marketing gold, and it's totally free. Free. Amazing. Just head to BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Enter your name and email, and boom, it's yours. Okay, BrianGarvin.com. Check it out, everyone. It's free. You've got nothing to lose. You can even find the link in his YouTube bio. Super easy to get. Awesome. So this guide covers everything we talked about, like affiliate marketing, email list, all that. It does. Brian even goes into creating landing pages to capture those leads, grow your email list. It's really comprehensive. So basically, it's like having a personal ebook marketing mentor in your pocket. Pretty much. Wow. I'm definitely downloading that after this. You should. It's a game changer for sure. All right. So to recap this part, affiliate marketing, super powerful way to boost your reach. Building your author platform essential for establishing yourself as an expert and building that trust. And pricing, finding that sweet spot between value and accessibility. We've covered a lot of ground today, and in part three, we're going to explore the future of ebook publishing and offer some final words of wisdom to get you started on your ebook journey. Sounds good. Can't wait. And we're back for the final part of our ebook deep dive. It's been a whirlwind tour, hasn't it? It has. We've covered so much ground. Picking platforms, making our ebook irresistible, marketing strategies, selling our author platform, affiliate marketing, pricing, phew. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. Uh Uh-huh. I know, right? But before we wrap up, I'm kind of curious. What does the future hold for eBooks? Are there any cool trends on the horizon? Oh, the eBook world is always evolving. It's so dynamic. I love that. One thing that's really exciting is the rise of interactive eBooks. Interactive eBooks. Yeah. Think eBooks with embedded videos, quizzes, even elements that change based on your choices. Whoa. That's taking things to a whole new level. It is. Imagine reading a cookbook and being able to watch video tutorials right there in the ebook. Oh, that would be so helpful. Right. Or taking a quiz to test your knowledge after reading a nonfiction book. I love that idea. It makes it so much more engaging. It's all about creating a truly immersive reading experience. So cool. What else is shaping the future of ebooks? Well, audiobooks are definitely having a moment. Oh, yeah. Audiobooks are amazing. I listen to them all the time. People are busier than ever these days, so it makes sense that they're looking for ways to consume content on the go. Totally. I listen while I'm walking, cooking, even folding laundry. Multitasking at its finest. (laughs) Exactly. And the great thing is, with advancements in AI-powered narration, it's becoming easier and more affordable for authors to create audiobooks. That's fantastic news. So ebooks are adapting, evolving to meet the needs of modern readers. Absolutely. It's an exciting time to be an author, that's for sure. Agreed. Okay, before we wrap up this whole deep dive, what words of wisdom would you offer our listeners who are ready to embark on their own ebook adventures? First and foremost, believe in yourself and your story. Okay. Your voice though. matters, your perspective is unique and valuable. You got to own it. Exactly. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. What else? Remember that writing an ebook is a process. It takes time, effort, and a willingness to learn and grow. Don't get discouraged, right? Exactly. Celebrate those small wins and never give up on your dream. Persistence is key. And, you know, you don't have to go it alone. True. There are tons of resources available to support you on this journey. And speaking of resources... I think it's time for one last shout out to our friend Brian Garvin. Oh, yes. Brian and his amazing free guide. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Available at BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. Over 12,300 words of pure marketing gold, all for free. Seriously, folks, if you're serious about selling your ebook, this guide is a must have. You can even find the link in his YouTube bio. Super easy to find. And with that, I think we've reached the end of our ebook deep dive. We've explored it all, from platforms to pricing to the future of digital publishing. So, what are you waiting for? The online world is your oyster. Go out there and make those ebook dreams a reality. The possibilities are endless. We can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey. Until next time.